Hello and welcome back again, Power App Enthusiasts to the Power App Tutorial Channel. In this video, we're going to be focusing on demoing the new features for the Pro Series that were added. All right, so if you're new here, just make sure that you hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you can stay updated when we come up with new videos. But let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right into the demo. So for our Pro Series, we decided to empower our model-driven app to be like the super agent for everything we need to do in our solution. So if you jump into our model-driven app and hit play, right off the bat, the first thing you will notice is that we have less features on the side. So now we just have an animal info of foster family data and the shelter homes, which aligns with our table sources. We'll start with the shelter home first. For the shelter home, we have our shelter values. And as you can see, we have multiple shelter homes, some saying copy. And that's because we added a new feature, which lets us copy shelter details just by packing the shelter that you want to change and just hitting copy so this is a new component that was added to our model driven form using commands also to test it let's just click copy let's align this so let's sort this first so the last one should be s14 copy of component trader trader that's how the copy works if you go straight into the the form itself you can also make more copies of the exact details of our form so everything in this field can also be copied by using the copy field this we added also in our component screen so let's just test this real quick and if you hit copy, it creates another copy and actually migrates you to the copy that you created. So that's for that. Uh, I'm going to hit save and close. Let's save that copy. So those are the new features that were added into our shelter home, aside from what we already created before. So let's jump right into the foster family. Nothing really has changed in the foster family. It's still as is. The main changes that we are completed were done to the animal info table. First of all, let's go straight to our active views where we added a couple more views into our animal info. But then when we go into our animal, for example, Bella, which is our favorite animal so far. Once we go into Bella, new features that were added into our Bella information include we get a foster family story. We used a web resource connected to uh, JavaScript to create our get foster family. We also used a uh, workflow to create our medical past and that was in video 21 also other features that were added to our animal info include included um, we had decided to remove the quick view and embed a canvas app a new canvas app that was created so this canvas app actually has modern integration uh, inside it so we added that canvas app to our model driven form the next thing we did was we added our foster claimer name into our model driven form so now our animal info has foster claimer and shelter info and we can actually edit this information right inside our foster claimer form so once you click this you can change all these values for example Let's change this to 77 by increasing the shelter capacity. You can hit save and to show you if it was changed successfully. We're going to do the same thing to test our foster claimer here. 
So I'm going to change the address to 458 and save. And this will actually change across the board. Okay, so that's for the changes that were made to the front side of our animal info. And then when for our animal manager, we decided to embed the entire canvas app that we created inside our animal manager tab. So now everything lives inside our model driven app, which is beautiful com for convenience for everybody, for both the users and the managers and the staff that use the application. You can give the users connection to the Canvas app using the link, and then the managers and staff can actually use the model driven app to re relate with the animals. All right, that's for the Canvas app section. For our Power BI section, for our Power BI section, we still have all our related information. We still have our landing page, which now it takes us to the report filter page, which takes us to the available animals page and the shelter review page. All of them are all integrated and all work in accordance with each other. If you want to watch the videos on how to create this, they're all in the channel. But this is just a short demo of both the new changes we made to the model driven app in combination with our Power BI. All right, thank you very much for joining this video. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.